Jake Quickenden to dress as Bone for Marathon in memory of Little Brother. Jake Quickenden has revealed that he will run his first ever marathon dressed as a massive Bone in memory of his younger brother Oliver. Oliver was just 19 when he died of bone cancer in 2012, the same disease that killed their father four years earlier. Quickenden said running the TCS London Marathon on the 23rd of April will be difficult and emotional but remembering Oliver will motivate him to complete the 26, 2 miles, 42 km. I like to test myself and do these things because I can, I'm still on this earth with air in my lungs. And my little brother can't, he told the PA news agency. I'll remind myself that Oliver would love to be here, doing this and it will drive me on. It's a massive outfit. I don't know how it's going to be to run in. Just Quickenden's face, arms and legs will be visible in the huge costume which will feature information to explain that sarcoma is bone and soft tissue cancer. I think when I'm 20 miles in and I can barely walk, I will be quite emotional. Said Quickenden, who hopes to raise £10, 000 for Sarcoma UK. That's why I have got him there on the costume with me, that will give me the extra motivation. He's always there with me anyway. The former Dancing on Ice champion who rose to fame on the X Factor and played football professionally has never run a marathon before. I did the London Landmarks half a couple of years ago and I'm pretty excited, nervous but it's all for an amazing cause, he said. I can't wait to do it. Quickenden, who came second in I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here but had to withdraw from competing in TV show SAS, who dares wins due to a shoulder injury. Added, I started off really good, training like I was Mo Ferrer. I have hurt my foot hurt my calf so the training has dropped off. No matter what happens, I will finish it. I'd still do it if I was on crutches. I was going to try to get an unbelievable time. I'm going to be dressed as a massive big bone. It's just about enjoying it now. Quickenden, who welcomed son Leo with Sophie Church in 2021 and got married last year, said he did not exercise as much during the first six months of fatherhood but added, now he's two I can get out and do a run. My wife's a great support. I just try to get it in when he's napping, when he's in bed, or when he's not got up yet. Oliver died from osteosarcoma, a type of bone cancer mostly diagnosed in teenagers and young people. And quickened and previously fundraised for Sarcoma UK by shaving his head. He was praised for raising awareness last year after he underwent a testicular examination live on TV, during an all-male takeover of Loose Women. Quickened and said being a father had made him realize how important regular checks were and he wanted to encourage men not only to check themselves but to feel able to talk to their friends about it. I have tried to use the platform I have got to help people rather than just post pictures of my six-pack, he told PA. It's given me more of a reason. Before, when I wasn't trying to help people, I felt a bit lost. I feel like that's what I'm here for. He has also spoken about his own experience of grief and told PA, it's important to talk about grief. If you go through grief or are affected by cancer, you can get through it. Quickenden who lives in Essex with his wife, Leo and Freddie, Sophie's son from a previous relationship, said, I really like Essex. I have got a good group of mates. We have got a lot of fields, parks and walks around us. It's perfect for the kids. Scunthorpe will always be home though, he added, I'm proud of where I come from. I go back as much I can, all my old mates are there, my mates that I grew up and played football with, my mum and my brother. My mum always badgers me if it's longer than three weeks. Scunthorpe will always be my home. I'm proud of coming from a working class place. My older brother still works at the steel works, I worked there when I was 17, he's one of the foremen now. All my mates were going to stay in Scunny. If I hadn't met Sophie, I would have stayed there. Kerry Reeves Knipe, director of fundraising and communications at Sarcoma UK, said, when Jake approached us about running the TCS London Marathon to raise funds and awareness of sarcoma, we jumped at his offer. 
Jake always turns heads, and there's no way anyone will miss him as he covers the 26 miles in his custom-made burn costume. Jake lost his father and younger brother to bone cancer, and has since become a dedicated celebrity ambassador for Sarcoma UK. He understands how important it is for the charity to fund vital research into sarcoma, offer support for anyone affected by the disease, and campaign for better treatments. We wish Jake all the best of luck for Big Day. The whole team at Sarcoma UK will be there to cheer him on. Sarcomas are uncommon cancers that can affect any part of the body. A key symptom is a lump that gets bigger quickly. About 15 people are diagnosed with sarcoma every day in the UK, about 5, 300 people a year. And many can have tumors removed with surgery. For other types of sarcoma, chemotherapy and radiotherapy are options. Osteosarcoma makes up about 30% of all bone sarcoma diagnosis and mostly affects the knee, thigh bone, shin bone or upper arm. Symptoms include burn pain, particularly at night, a mass or swelling and restricted movement in a joint and can sometimes be confused with more common problems such as a sports injury or growing pains. Information and support is available from the Sarcoma UK support line which can be contacted by emailing support line at sarcoma or UK or calling 0808 801 0401. To sponsor Jake, visit https colon slash slash just giving com fundraising Jay Quickenden.